Jersey. Uh, made this album called Limeade. Uh, Limeade is this album that I made uh, in like 2012, 2013 is around the time that I started it. That was like around the end of high school. I graduated in like 2013. I put it out 2016, earlier last year now, because it's 2017. The reason why it's called Limeade is because like, A, it's my favorite drink. I would work on it way into the deep night after like, high school days. We're at Terrace Bagels right now, Freehold, New Jersey. There's a spot. I used to do track and field in high school, like all four years. And like, this would be where people go to like, carb up after runs and whatnot. But also it's a spot just to get some good food, good breakfast. I got that, uh, all-American New Jersey and pork roll egg and cheese on everything bagel. They do it right over here. You gotta treat yourself. I was working at this skate surf shop called Tilly's and like I start riding at like 11 p.m. and see how late I can go. And like my midnight snack was always like crackers and cheese and like Hella juice, which is like limeade most of the time. Cherry limeade for Minute Maid, which is the bomb. And like I'd be in this room just kind of like cranking stuff out. This is the spot. Um put the jacket on the chair like so. Started this is where I'll be making all my stuff. Um, my homie Jake helped me clear out this room when I was like 16. And we like got this janky ass table. It's like literally about to fall, but it works, does the job. It's a stable surface, you know what I mean? That record player is hella broken. And when it broke, like I had to learn how to play keys to make shit or else I wouldn't have stuff to play. And so that's like when I got this. Uh, yeah, I could try to make something real fast so you know what it's like up in these streets. Let's see what I can find. Do something real fast. Uh, 70 p.m. And to me, like, um, I always liked the color that Cherry Limeade was from Anime for some reason. I don't know, I guess I dig the color pink and like bright colors and all that. Set him up, sorry. Uh, the art for Limeade, uh, my homie Caroline Lamarca, like, did actually all of it. I came to her with the uh, ideas when I was like 17, maybe 16. That was junior year of high school. Like the front cover is like these two feet, like uh, buried underneath like this like pyramid, uh, like stack of limes. And like to me, I just wanted something that felt like being submerged in what the thing was. I wanna go. The whole thing, like, it felt to me like escapism in a way, just because, I don't know, like, people find escapism through taste and what they enjoy and the culture and all that. And then in a way, like, food is, food is obviously taste and so is fashion, art. Um, also, like, it just felt like a cool name to me, you know what I mean? Um, yeah. 
Most of the tracks on Lime Aid, I play like a lot of keys on them and like I had a drum machine for a lot of stuff. I'm not a pianist at all, I just like pretty chords and I try to fool around stuff. But before Lime Aid, I was sampling a lot of records, which is still like what I do sometimes now. Uh, one of the spots that my homies and I would frequent a bunch like uh, at the end of high school when we could all drive was uh, this place called the Record Store in Howell. And like mostly they sell a bunch of, uh, a bunch of comic books and graphic novels and stuff, but they also had vinyl. And like for a kid who's just trying to like find some cheap vinyl to like rip loops off of and like chop up and stuff, that spot had like really dope ones for 99 cents most of the time. But like if you found cool sections, you'd luck out. Like the super um, jazz, like Latin jazz drums, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Timpanese and like congas and stuff. He's getting the yoke behind the drums. Yo, thanks for watching. Uh, this is like the one year anniversary of putting out Limeade. Also, I put out vocal stems for anyone who wants to remix some tracks. My guitar lost all the strings and love gonna start to stand. Uh, this whole year has a bunch of stuff that I'm looking forward to. Got some tours. Got some collaboration projects, got some other originals and solo stuff coming out. And uh, yeah, appreciate your time. You're the best. Peace.